Hey guys and welcome to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. In this video we are going to talk Replay 2 because the website fpjarcade.com uh, has posted an update which is the update for well the Replay 2 in general. So they posted an update as you can see here May the 20th just a couple of days ago. What we're going to do in this video guys is we're going to go through what the update states and maybe I'll share some of my own opinions and points here. Now before we get further into this guys just want to point out that delays can happen so if there's any dates that are given here unforeseen circumstances can arise sometimes projects that are in the making may not even see the light of day so just want want to keep your expectations in check personally i believe this project is going to do really really well it's going to see the light of day and honestly i can't wait until i get aboard myself so i can show you stuff running on here so you can see for yourself exactly how good this project will be once it actually comes out the team are very very competent they're very very transparent and above all everything they're doing is going to be open source right so really really looking forward to this so mike j is the person who wrote this article he's the main developer behind the replay too now we're going to go through the article right so here we are i'm not doing very well at posting updates here the discord is where to be to get the latest gossip as we struggle to complete the design the link below will work for a week i'll post another update after that okay so that's an invite link here just for reference guys if uh, if it has run out and you do want a link just comment in the video and i'll give you an individual link if you do want to join the discord if you're interested in the replay too definitely head over and i can tell you one thing they're super friendly they'll answer all your questions if they can't answer a question they'll give you a reason as to why uh, they can't actually answer the question so here's um here's a diagram well, let's have a look at it here anyway so i'm not going to go through everything on here but feel free to go to the website like i said i will link it in the description uh, and you guys can check this out for yourself but everything is looking good there's two boards the light and the fat those are just temporary names when the final product comes out it might be a different name for it anyway going down to the next paragraph we are out of NDA, uh, so a non-disclosure agreement with Intel, now that the Agile X5 info is publicly available, as is the tool support. Anybody can get a license, zero cost. Uh, we have 10 chips for the prototypes waiting for the PCB now. So that means, guys, if you're a core developer and you want to work on this, uh, yeah, in order to get the software to uh, work on it, the license costs absolutely nothing so that's absolutely great news for this project and enticing people on working on this project uh, and moving over to the next paragraph i'll be honest i had expected to get the board out to manufacture last month so we are running late but it's very but it's a very complex design and we're trying to keep costs down as much as possible which makes the design phase and pcb layout harder Replay 2 is a mini ITX board with a state-of-the-art Intel 7nm Agile X5 FPGA. It's very fast, very low power. Uh, we have we have high-speed DDR4 memory for the CPUs, 64-bit A76 running at 1.4 gigahertz. We have now uh, IoT Hyper RAM running at 200 megahertz which offers low latency access for cores we also have an sd ram compatible with mr cores so porting is dead easy and that's great to know right um the mr cores are going to be very very easy to port right because eh, you know it's got sd ram and it's kind of using stuff um, out of the same system right like intel stuff so i imagine it's easy right again not from a tech background so i don't i don't want to get too much into that and then you guys are slaughtering me in the comments uh moving on to the next part there are two versions names to be decided but let's call them r2 fat and r2 light for now r2 fat has an fpga roughly four times the size of the de10 nano used in mr lights fpga is more modest but somewhat larger than the cyclone 5 there is a multi-mode digital video out which can do at least 4K at 60 frames per second. There is a high quality 30-bit analog VGA output and higher quality audio codec with digital out. Both boards also have a remo removable eMMC module for mass storage. 
R2 FAT has a two-lane PCIe M.2 slot for SSD, along with optional compute module expansion slot, which has four times PCIe Gen 3 uh, MIPI display interfaces, Ethernet and miscellaneous, miscellaneous I/O or IOs. Um, originally, this was going to be an RK3588 module, but we are also looking at a CM5. Uh, both boards have an M.2 slot for SDIO Wi-Fi uh, Bluetooth module and dual front back swappable I.O. modules for things like DB9 or snack controller inputs. There are lots of USB 2 and FAT has a multi-mode USB-C connector. Hopefully I can show you the final board in June. And guys, hopefully we will see a final board in June. But like I said, when it is available and hopefully I'll get like early access to one. I mean, everything is looking good for that. Um, and I can show you stuff running on here. I am I'm, I'm super excited. Uh, but like I say, I always like pointing out that when stuff isn't ready, delays, uh, delays are possible uh, and cancellations may even be possible very very unlikely in this case but always a possibility so i just i don't want to get your expectations too high with anything uh, but the team you know the team are very very transparent and i i have absolute confidence in them based on the dealings that i have with them so i'm looking forward to this and it was nice to get this update from the team uh so yeah guys yeah share your thoughts about this below what do you think i mean it's it's a powerful fpga and i imagine this is going to do some very very good calls and even if i even if i have a hint of any i am not at liberty to say anything there but all i can say is uh yeah we we have a good future in fpga gaming ahead of us but that's it for this video guys just wanted to have a quick look at this which i think we've done now so share your thoughts below uh be awesome to one another guys if you're not subscribed to the channel then a subscription and like is always super appreciated this is pixel cherry ninja out